my name is Renee and this is my cash stuffing journey. If you're new here, thank you so much for taking a chance and clicking on my video. I hope you decide to like, subscribe and stick around for a while. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your ongoing support. So it is the first savings challenge Friday of the year. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So I've got all of my savings challenges in uh, Big Bessie. This is Big Bessie. She's an um, she's an A5 binder, and I think I've just I've already overstacked her to be honest. <laughs> it's like she won't close, um, but yeah, we'll we'll work on that. Now this is a completely different layout to last year. Um, I have because I had limited envelopes. There is multiple savings challenges in each envelope, so we're gonna see how this goes. Hopefully, you can see that. Can you see that? No, because of the light. Okay. So in this first envelope, these are all my monthly ones in the front. So we've got the January, we've got dollar a day. So January is getting five dollars. And because I only have um, limited of these A5 envelopes, I didn't want to damage the envelope or label them. So what I've done is I've created these little these little plastic sleeves that just slip into the envelope and then I can I can get the challenges in and out of those. So five dollars for January and for a dollar a day we've got fifteen. I'm hoping this works out because um, I do like the thought of having the big binder but I've jam packed it with so much stuff I don't know if it's going to um, I don't know if it's going to be able to hold all of the money but we'll see we'll see how it goes I remember when I started this journey I'm like I don't want more than two binders <laughs> Uh, I've now got like five. It's because the the more comfortable you get in this journey, the more you can micro, like the more you micromanage. So it's like, oh, or like you'll be like, oh my God, this came up and I don't have an envelope for that. Well, now I need to make one. So, um, yeah, so it happens. Um, when these ones are finished for the month, I will be putting them into my annual binder and I won't be counting that until the end of the year. So I'm going to see how much I can save um, over the year and that will be going straight into the home deposit. Okay, so these two is my um, seasonal savings challenge and my buffer. So summer is getting... Five dollars today. And then Buffer is also getting five dollars today. So I'm hoping by using these envelopes, it'll stop any damage from the, like, like any marker or anything getting onto the envelopes. Because that's what happened to my old ones. Like, they would get all stains on them and it just made it hard to, because I was always replacing them. And I can't do that with these ones because I don't have that many. Okay, so we've got... Uh, roll the dice and my heads or tails. So we'll do roll the dice first. Really. Um, if it's one to three, it's five dollars. If it's four to six, it's ten. So it's five. So that is ten dollars.
and this is my new mermaid coin toss um, so heads I am going to do five dollars and tails I'm going to do ten so this is an Australian 20 cent piece uh, it is tails so oh look what I've done can you see that? They both say heads. <laughs> you have to redo that one. Um, so tails is 10. I'll have to fix that. How did I not notice that? I think this is going to take more time. That's kind of the only thing that sucks. Because there's kind of multiples in each like envelope. But we'll see. Okay, so we've got the black and blue bling pen and pets. I'm not going to do pets this time. Because um, I didn't budget for it. Because we were so shocked with having to take our dog to the vet. So um, I'm kind of surprised. Um that I didn't have something in place for that but I didn't so uh, five dollars so uh, so we're going to put five dollars in this one and this is to perch. I'm going to use this money to purchase my bling pens from Erica from Black and Blue because they're so beautiful. Okay, uh, Celebrations is getting $5. This I'm going to use to fund like um, birthdays and um any kind of special event so it's getting two today so each icon is two dollars fifty and hoot this one is funding les's birthday So Christmas is getting five. I forgot to, I didn't get a chance to go to the bank, so I didn't get to, on my shout out Sunday, I didn't get a chance to stuff my, for week seven, so I'm just going to do that really quick now. So we're now sitting at 20, 45, 55, 65, 70. Why are these notes all jacked up so bad? Okay, so 20, 45, 55, 65, 70.
Okay, so this is my like YouTube envelope. So we've got the giveaway. He's getting five dollars this week. So we've got this is for my glittery Christmas giveaway. So we've got 20, 40, 50, 5, 65. And the goal is $500. And then nothing in YouTube because I'm currently sitting at um, like 580 which is just uh, so amazing. Okay, so my one, two, and five dollar savings challenges. Right, everyone's awake. I'm gonna have to come back. Thanks, guys. Hey, guys, so it is another day. <laughs> um, Evelyn is teething pretty badly, so she just wants a mama and I laid on the lounge with her all day not even ashamed of it so we will finish um, finish filming this while she's asleep um, I don't even know where I was up to oh, look at that I put, made myself a note okay so I feel like a like a new youtuber again <laughs> Because everything has changed, I'm not, I haven't got the new flow yet. Okay, so change. This is from my little coin purse that I keep in my wallet. Um, and I'm just tracking this with prop money because uh, it goes in a jar. I've got a whole bunch of prop notes here. So 10, 15, 16. In my little coin jar here. See what I mean about cats making a mess? Always making a mess. Okay. 
And then this is the $5 one, and I'm just doing this from my rollover. So, um, from my wallet, and I had three. I had $15 this week. Five, ten, fifteen. See what I mean about how I feel like a new YouTuber? Like, nothing, it doesn't flow as smoothly as I'm, <laughs> as I'm used to. Um, life, that's only if we've got any money left over. Now, these are my budget besties. So, these are all the ones that I've bought off, that I have bought off Etsy. From, like, when I'm doing my shout out Sunday, or if I just see one that I like. Um, and I'll probably keep a continued cycle of these the whole time uh, so this one's what's on the shelf and I think I'm gonna save this and buy like I usually only get um, Kindle Unlimited just because the cost because I read so many books that it's worth it for me um, but I do have a lot of books on my to buy shelf and I just a lot of the time I can't convince myself to buy them but I thought maybe Maybe I could save all of this and then um, I can buy myself um, buy myself some books in my wish list. Um, so I'm doing five dollars here. So I might do two shelves. Hmm. I might do two shelves and a book. I do love colouring in. I thought this one was unique. I've never seen one like this. And I think I got one of these for my either my shout out videos or when I was doing the B BCL. I can't remember which one it was, but And then this one is from the lovely Amanda. She made me some. Um, and I think I was just going to do one letter. Five dollars too. Uh, pretty and polish. Um, each one is two dollars, so I think I might do. I was going to do five dollars, so I might do. Might do two of these, and then I'll half color. Might half color or polish maybe. Mm, so how about I'm do wearing red today, so let's do a red one. And my grandma always loved really pale nude nails, so let's give her a pale pink one.
and then I like a skin tone color because I am very very pale so let's see if this is skin tone nope this is straight up orange <laughs> but it'll do Uh, I might just do another nail and I'll leave the finger for later. So I might do purple. Okay, and that one's getting five. So this one is a kitty pilot. And this one's also getting five. So let's do from the bottom I think okay let's do this little kitty here I love kitties I'm definitely a cat person my husband is a dog person um, he's not a fan of cats but you know what not a fan of cats my butt come out the other day and he's literally because we have three cats and all females all heifers bloody divas and he's just covered in cats he's got one like one on his lap he's got one sitting beside him on the lounge or like when he lays down on the lounge to have a sleep like one will lay on his hip one will lay at his feet bloody. I don't like cats mm-hmm And like I will like conjole the cats. I try and bribe them with treats. Do they come and lay all over me when they're getting all sooky? No. I go to bloody Liz. I rub up against him and meow and being all cute and shit. My grandmother was the same though. We had like this <coughs> animals just responded to her. She just had one of those souls, I think. Um, we had a stray cat once, and I used to feed it, and I used to sit outside and just be really patient with it because it was very skittish. And all I wanted to do was pat the bloody thing, and it just, I did it for probably, God, probably like a couple of weeks. Nothing. Wouldn't come near me. My grandma comes up for a visit. Never seen it before. Never engaged with it before. It's never seen her before. She gets out of the car and she sees it. And she goes, oh, precious kitty. She goes, here, yeah, kitty. And she makes like a clicking sound. Next thing you know, the little heifer runs over. Starts rubbing up against her and purring. Felt betrayed. I think it was just my grandmother had one of those gentle, gentle, gentle souls. Whether they were animal or human, she's just, just drawn to her gentle nature. Kitty. Okay. It's getting five dollars. Okay, and this is from the Art of Budgeting, and I thought this would be really cool to do with my coins, because you know how I have one, like, a challenge for my gold, so I thought this would be a really good challenge for my silvers, because they just go in like a big, they just go in like a big jar. So, let's see if we can get rid of some of these big ones. So, one, two, 
40, 50. So that's a $2.50. So we've got another 250. And then 10, 20, 30. Alright, so they're just going to be bonus coins. Yeah, but I thought that would be like a really cool way to um, like keep a track of the silvers. And then at the end I can cash it in. With this one, I'm not, I think when my envelope gets to like $100, I'm going to um, do these ones, the ones from Amanda. Okay. So these are mini ones, and I'm going to use it to fund our weekend away for Les's birthday. So once these are full and I've completed them, um, I will pull them out, put the money into here, and then redo three different mini ones. That's how I'm going to do it. Um, because, like, I think this one equates to 1500 um, which would take a lot of time. So I thought if I do it this way, I'm getting to use the mini challenges. Because um, I, I have, a, like, a massive box full of challenges and then a massive envelope of, like, just paper ones that I need to do from other people and I thought this would be a good way to um, try and get through them so five dollars in this one this week and then five dollars in this one dollars in this one. I might do yellow for pineapples. So this one's for a hundred, uh, this one's for 120 and this one is for a hundred. So I have 320 by the time I've done all three. Um, which will get me like on this one that will get me three of the biggest ones and then one of the little ones so I thought it, I'll see how it works another example of that rollover say like savings rollover and saving snowball and stuff okay now these are digital ones so these are all ones that are either going directly into the bank or directly into our um, into our savings. Um, so this is the red to black budgeting. Where's that? Okay. And um, so I marked nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And 20 for this week uh, for this fortnight um, I'm trying to get as many done of the little ones um, so that's why I'm doing kind of five of a pay cycle instead of the four um, 
because when I get to the bigger ones, like I might be um, only able to do two. So like I'll have one, like 100 and I might only be able to put like a small number in or I might just do like 200. So I want to try and get as many done now of the smaller ones all together so that when I am doing the bigger ones, I might just only have one. We'll probably be only able to do that for the next few weeks though because we're starting to get into the bigger ones. And then for this one, it looks like I forgot to, um, it looks like I forgot to mark what the, um, like what the amounts were. So, um, oh, I forgot to put the money in. How much did I put in? Uh, 62. So 50, 60. And I transfer this money straight into my, um, straight into my, the account I have for the deposit. It's in its own account. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 12, 14, 16. So $116 now. And how much did I add in for this one? So I added 19 in. So should we get rid of like some big numbers and do like, is there a 19 on there? Just get rid of that off the bat. Mm, no. There's an 18. I might just do a 10 and a 9 on this one. Mm. That I'm trying to get through all of my um, envelopes and that and it's just a mess at the moment everything is everywhere Okay, so we've got 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 57, 59, 61, 63, 65, 66. Is that right? Yeah. And this is also going straight into my, um, straight into my house savings for the deposit. Uh, the zero out challenge. Um, it wasn't much this fortnight, I must admit, um, but I'm really trying to be aware of at least doing um, doing something. So it was $3.90 this time. So I might do... I just got $4 for that one. And my goal is to do $500 in investing a year. So hopefully doing it from the beginning of the year we will reach that goal. And then we didn't have any return and earn yet. We do have some to take, so hopefully next pay cycle we will have something to add in. Um, and the 100 envelope challenge. And this is to show the money that I um, am paying on my credit card. So, 
so I paint 50. Okay, so that's everything out of that binder. Um, now, it's not going to sit there. I was going to do my, um, my 26 week and everything, but I realized I haven't changed it all over yet. So it's got like all the old ones in there. I need to find my... I need to pull out the new um, trackers. So for the 52 envelope, it's going to be five. And then for the 26 envelope, it's going to be five. And I will have them by the next filming, hopefully. Um, and I'll mark them off. This is all going towards the deposit. So I'll unstuff this at the box at the end of the year. Okay, thank you so much for watching that. I really, really appreciate you being here. Remember to live, laugh, love. And when life gets hard, just roll it in glitter. Bye, guys.